What's up, guys? We play. I'm playing today the new anime battle, 3.4 version 3.4. So I didn't get to play 3.3, cause for some reason it wasn't working when I was trying to play it. Like I so, but the new version came out. I don't know when it came out. So I went on. I went on the website where I usually play this game, and it was like, it was like I checked checked if there was going to be a new one, and I found it. So I don't know if there's any gameplay of it online yet. So I get uh, here it is they added some new characters, and I like this new like the uh, the old versions was like had a whole different type of system of fighting, but this new version is more like a traditional fighter. I don't like it, you know. There's new characters. I thought that guy over there was Sasuke, but my brother told me that Sasuke's brother, but he wasn't Sasuke. I was trying to click as him before, but you know he wasn't Sasuke. He was some. Guy, I didn't want to play as him. I, if it's not, I was going to play as him if he's Sasuke. At least I know who he is a little bit. But no, I go play as Trunks. You know, I like Trunks. You know, and I go play a uh, fight against Ace. You know, that's a pretty good pair right there. Pretty good fighting pair right there. Pretty good. Pretty good. No, because you know, I just you no, know, I'm not really big Dragon Ball Z fan. I'm going to be honest with you. But I do like I like the characters and the designs. It's really well done. I plan on watching, rewatch, watching the whole Dragon Ball Z saga from you know when, like all the way up to like the, the end. Like, I'm not watching anything after the Freeza saga. That's that's all I'm going to say. That's that's because I heard that's really good. That that whole thing from when Goku, or like like when we first meet Gohan, and then up to after the Freeza saga, I heard it's pretty decent. And I heard it's even more decent if you even if you watch Dragon Ball before that. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fixing to watch Dragon Ball. I'm not, I'm not trying to watch no Dragon Ball original Dragon Ball. I don't know how many episodes are on there, but I'm not trying to watch it. I mean, like it might be better for me to watch it with, with Kid Goku and all that. But no, I'm not trying to watch it. I'm not trying to watch that, you know. But you know, I I like One Piece though. It was cool. I'm not gonna tell people what happened to manga, but it was like it was pretty lit. It's, it's coming really close. I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm still waiting. I'm just going to say, uh, I'm still waiting for them to... It's like, no, I'm not going to tell you. But, you know, I, it's pretty cool in the manga. I really think... I don't know what's going to happen with the uh, the One Piece fights. But I feel it's going to be really cool. I, I Adventures of Infinity War is coming out soon, too. So, I know I, I need to prepare for that. No, I, I still haven't seen Thor Ragnarok. No one told me what happened, cause it. And finally, I ordered it from my li local library. That's was what I usually use, cause I don't try to buy the DVD. I usually order them from my library, watch them for free, in a legal fashion, not like pirate online. Free, it's free watching, free, le totally legal watching of a movie. And I get to watch them. Uh, I put put the DVD in my DVD player on my HD TV. And watch it, you know. So I'm really glad. I heard Thor Ragnarok was good, but I heard I I I'm ready to watch it for myself and make my own opinions about the movie. I heard it was a good movie, but I heard it was so it was it did take time to be serious, and when it did, it was like it just got funny again. So I I want I'm interested to see if the, how much of these points are valid, because I feel like sometimes. Some of these people out here, I feel like when they make that argument, they was just like, it's just finding something to, it, to target Marvel about. Because, you know, I love Marvel and DC. You know, I'm, I, I I like the DCU, the first, like, I like Zack Snyder's movies, despite what people think about them. I like Man of Steel. I th honestly, when I wa first watched Man of Steel, I was so surprised at how good it was, honestly. Because I wasn't expecting much because I had a bad experience with the Superman movie, Superman Returns. Like, cause the DVD I got was scratched, and I couldn't really watch anything. No, I don't think it was the DVD. I think it was my DVD player at the time. I think it had dust in it, and it made it made watching DVDs really complicated. But it kept the movie. The movie kept on freezing while I was watching it. It just, it was just gave me a bad experience. So I like when I heard Man still was coming. I watched it. I was I watched it on DVD. I wasn't expecting much from the movie, <coughs> but the movie. <coughs> Totally surprised me, really surprised me. <coughs> whoa, whoa, okay. <coughs> no, honestly, the movie really surprised me. 
it really just did surprise me. I'm not, I'm not lying. It surprised me about how how much action. I was really expecting no action. I wasn't really expecting that much action in the movie that was in there. And I was really uh, 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 pleased as a, a young boy back in those days. But even though still, I still think Man Still was a good movie. I it really was a great movie to me. Like, there was a lot of scenes that I connected with in that movie. I thought it was a really good movie. Batman v Superman, I don't understand why people don't like it. It's not the best movie out there, but you know, I really understood what there was what Zack Stein was trying to do with the movie and I actually really did enjoy it. It was like the soundtrack is amazing. One of the best trial soundtracks I ever heard to a movie. <clears throat> One of the best soundtracks in a superhero movie. It was just a legendary soundtrack. I mean like it was really good. Hans Zimmer went all out there for that soundtrack. That soundtrack was amazing. A, a, it was a beautiful, amazing soundtrack. It was really great. Really great. But I really didn't like Suicide Squad like that. No, I really have mixed opinions about Suicide Squad. I don't really, I don't think it's that bad. But if I have to say it, it's like, you know when someone says something's half bad? It's not, it's, not, it's not half bad? Well, I thought it was half bad. That's what, that's, that's why I think is my opinion. I don't think it was bad, bad. But, you know, it, I don't, I can't feel like I could confidently say it was a good movie. I did like Wonder Woman. Like, I didn't really like it at first. But, you know, when I we watched some scenes, I'm like, you know, this movie was pretty good. It was pretty enjoyable. It was pretty decent. Now, Justice League. I saw Justice League. You know, I went to we see Justice League opening weekend. And IMAX. My theater's IMAX was so... It wasn't even that big of a screen. Because this was my first IMAX movie. Wasn't even that big of a screen, man. Like... Barely, it was like, I could not really, it was like bigger screen, but really that, really that cool. It's the, I, I couldn't tell if the, the sound was a, a better than average from when I go 3D. I'd rather see the movie in 3D, because it was 2D IMAX, you know, I, I wanted 3D IMAX. And you know what, they show 3D IMAX, like, in, in the time when I don't even go. I like going, like, early in the morning, because when you go in the early in the morning, you get... Like a, a cheap price for it, and also I don't have to. There's not a lot of people there. I don't like going to the movie theater with a lot of people. I just want to be there and watch the movie. Cause like when there's not a lot of people there, you only go hear a couple of laughs, and that's it. It's like really you get the the whole movie theater to yourself. It's really decent thing. When I went to see Batman v Superman early in the morning, you know what I got? You know what I got, man? There was like there was not many people in there. It was like only one family in there. And I was got to pretty much enjoy, enjoy the whole movie by myself, man. Then that that was that's good experience just to be in the movie theater by yourself. But no one's there, like barely anyone's in there. You're like the only one. It feels good, man. It feels good. You feel like you feel like you accomplished something. You feel like you are really accomplished something. Honestly, though, Justice League. I was really disappointed because I really felt like they messed up Zack Snyder's vision. I really, and this is why me and other people want the Zack Snyder cut because we understand his. I understand his vision. And I wanted to see what was the continuation of that Batman v Superman story. And it wasn't that, that what like they made Superman start telling jokes for no reason. He kept back from the dead, and you make you making this boy saying jokes, trying to make him like the Superman Christopher Reeves Superman. No, I want the Superman. You can get that Superman crease. I feel like, like they. If it was unset up. He just he's uh, he wasn't acting like that before. Now he's acting like that. He started cracking up jokes. When did this came from? It's just stupid. It feels really awkward. I, I mean, I really don't like what happened. I really don't like what happened, honestly, with Justice League. I I cannot. I cannot, man. I cannot. Oh my goodness. I I want a good. I wanted to watch a good movie. You know. It wasn't that bad a movie. The characters is what makes sa honestly saves the movie to me. It makes the move. The characters were great in the movie. I really, some people thought the Flash was annoying. I really didn't thought he was that annoying in the movie. I actually thought he was pretty funny. I thought his his comedy in the movie was more natural than the comedy that comes out from the Flash in the TV show. But I thought the the Flash in the TV show. Is a better superhero because you honestly every time in the episode you can see that how much he cares about the people he's saving, how much he cares for even the villains that he's fighting for. We see that he actually wants to help them beca uh, become better people in society and all that. He actually you see him be a hero. This one he is he's acting like a, a whole punk and everything. He tries to run away. It's just like 
corny. It's really corny. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and please subscribe. And, guys, have a nice day. And, you know, drink water.